Hey, 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 yo, what it do, baby? It's your boy Dynamic, and today I'm bringing you a little Black Ops 2 commentary as always. I hope you guys are having a great, great, great week. And I'm having a pretty good week too. This past weekend, I spent my time, well, not my time, not Sunday, Sunday, the whole day pretty much, watching the MOG tournaments and stuff, the pro gaming tournaments. And I have to be honest, uh, I enjoyed the living crap out of those tournaments, man. I, I couldn't believe the level of skill. I couldn't believe the competition. Couldn't believe these guys call out. It's amazing. I'm always amazed by, by what these guys do. And yeah, I spent pretty much the whole Sunday watching MOG and watching the championship finals and stuff but before i continue if you guys haven't noticed yes i am sniping i am sniping for one of the first times in like who knows months maybe but i'm actually doing pretty good with this sniper right here you know i'm dominating i'm i did pretty good the game like i had some good snipes it's a little easier with the acog but that's the reason why it's in the game if you don't use it then look at that blam blam right in his face so yeah i was sniping anyways so let me get back to my main topic so you guys won't get too bored. Well, in all this watching MLG that I did, well, before I get into that, let me say I'm not a new person to the to the competitive scene. I've I've tried I tried to be a Halo pro. I mean, a Halo 3 pro back a couple 4 years ago, I think, 4 or 5 years ago. 4 years ago, yeah. I tried, you know. I I tried to <laughs> be as good as possible. I was not good enough to be a Halo 3 Pro. I mean, it's, I can't even say I was close. I was probably like 90% of the way there skill-wise. But 90% of the way there just makes you 90% good enough. It's just not, you're just not at that level yet. And I wasn't at that level. But I'm not new to the pro to the pro scene, I guess you could say, to the competitive scene. Uh, I'm, man, I'm been a fan of MLG. I guess for five, six years, even though I haven't, like, I'm not, like, a diehard, like, I'm gonna die if I don't watch a tournament type person, but you know what I mean, you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, so this Sunday, I was watching the videos, and I cannot tell you how much I learned, oh my god, I, ca I guess I kind of forgot how much you learn from actually watching these guys play, but I learned so many things, oh man, like, I, uh, I learned positions on where to put sentry guns sentry guns on maps like i was just like whoa like whoa these guys are crazy intelligent i learned that i learned nade spots concussion spots you know all that stuff you guys just gotta go to their website and you can watch all the video on demand from last week's tournament last weekend's tournament and you can watch you can watch everything pretty much. I'm pretty sure you'll learn. It'll make you a better player. That's the reason that I watch that. It's entertaining plus to like, you know, see the best players in the world. But what is the future of pro gaming? That's something that I wonder. What is the potential of pro gaming? Can it actually ever be considered a sport? Which I consider a sport because, uh, well, I consider a skill slash sport. It's not entirely a sport where you're over here running and sweating your balls off. Even though you kind of do sweat a lot. When you're in those nervous moments in a game that you want to win and you're about to lose. But sometimes you clutch it. When you clutch it, your heartbeat is like, oh my god, look at that. I'm fucking raping these guys with a sniper. I'm just going off. But I don't consider it a... I consider it a sport. I consider it a sport. I consider it a skilled sport. Not not more of, not that much of a physical sport, but I do. Because it, it just takes talent. It takes coordination. It takes human ability that superhuman ability actually because you got to be better than the average human so i consider it a sport and oh man like the way i see things now it's like it's like i'm 26 years old and my generation my generation plays games a lot of games and even guys that came before me play still play games that kind of surprises me because when I was growing up, I used to think like whenever I'm over my 20s or whenever I'm over 18, that's when I'm going to stop playing games. And I actually believe that because at 16 years old, I actually did stop playing games for four years. I stopped playing video games altogether for four years. Then I bought the Xbox 360 in 2007 in the summer when I was 20. And I and man, I just I started back up again. And I, I can't even believe that I'm 26 years old and still playing games. And it's not even that. It's that other people still play games at 26. So this, the crowd for for professional gaming, for watching gaming as entertainment, 
the crowd is just gonna get bigger because these new generations that are coming in that are even younger than me gaming is gonna be like so big to them it's, i can't even describe it to myself because it's already big to me so i can see a future where instead of the next american idol and people singing they have the next great american gamer and they have 20 kids there sitting down ready to get it on to become the world's greatest video game player period i can see that future I think the next Pele and Michael Jordan is going to be a gamer. Peace out, players.